Hey everyone, Kat here. So this video are, um, is for the email copywriters or email marketers um, writing or putting together um, email sequences or flows if you're in e-commerce or autoresponders, right? In any industry, really, you can just tweak this accordingly. But essentially, um, this is what has saved me so much time and so much effort and has given me and my clients an opportunity to get and receive valuable feedback right from the beginning and before I write a word of copy. So if you're up for it, then this video is for you. Cool. So um, this is what you call a storyboard. It's essentially an outline, right? And the way I would do it with my client, right, was they, you know, they, they sign on, I onboard them, they give me everything about their business. And then from there, I do some reading, not the in-depth research right away, but just some good reading to have a good understanding of what the landscape looks like, right? What the product is about, what the company is about, you know, how the, the whole thing looks like. And I would look at the competitors too. This would give me a good idea, or at least a good understanding of what needs to go into the emails, right? And differentiators type of thing. And then from there, before, what I would do is once I have that info, I'm going to start writing, right? That was before I would start writing, give it to the client. Either they say, this is good, but usually they are say, mm, you know, you, you got, you know, your copy looks good, nail the voice, but it's not quite the direction we're looking for. We were hoping you would focus on these, um, like, differentiators, and then we were hoping that you would add this type of email here. And it, your first thought would be, you know, that would have been really useful before I wrote the copy, <laughs> right? Because there's a method or madness. So, you know, when we decide there's like four, five, six emails going to go there, we didn't just pull that out of thin air. We, we figured out what we needed to write, right? We did our research. And, you know, for every email that we write, right, there's a reason why we order them a certain way. And for every email, there's a connection, right between emails and if a client or your boss says not quite what I was looking for or let's do xyz that kind of just ruins your plans <laughs> and you have to redo almost all of the copy that you made or at least you kind of have to make some pretty good tweaks in there but with a storyboard I was able to almost not completely but just really minimize and almost remove um that type of a feedback or like the type of effort wasted effort really so now what i would do after onboarding after some research i would have i would send this to the client i would put this together the storyboard it takes me about 15 minutes half an hour sort of like just like a, a rough outline this is by no means final but i would just get to let them know this is what i think we should do right so you see here there's four columns and um, I will get into the detail in a little bit, but essentially I will send this to the client. We'll go on a call, a quick call, um, after they've had a chance to take a look. And if they don't even want to go on a call, they just like highlight things and make a comment. But essentially they would say, you know what, Kat? Um, we like this, 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 and that. We'll just, we'll just have this, this feedback, right, of, of what's going to go in there. So see, email number one, say I would say, hey, client, you know what? I was thinking you need four emails for your supplements right? The first one is a thank you email. Second one's talking about your brand and product, but ultimately it's always going to go back to how you're going to help them. Email number three would be social proof and then community and all that stuff, right? And sometimes let's say client would add this, hey, let's do an us versus them email, like a comparison between us and the other, um, other brands type of thing. I'm like, cool. Uh, then we would just go through all this, like, hey, we'll say thank you, we'll do a starting point, and they would say, you know what, Kat, I think we should do social proof, like, at last, last, because, you know, our community is pretty big, and we want to emphasize that, so I want to put us here, and I would say, hey, you know what, how about we mention that, but let's just add a block, like, let's add that community in your footer block so that people would always know from the very beginning there's a community, and, or I would say, hey, you know what, this us versus them, how about we put it somewhere here, 
right? Because it's new year, new year, new you. Everybody wants to buy a supplement. Otherwise, they can't work out for some reason. <laughs> That's me. Uh, so um, what to do, right? Um, so you have this feedback. Now you have this conversation and the client will be like, oh yeah, you know what? I agree with you. Let's put this there. Or, you know, because we're not yes men. We write copy. There's a reason why we're doing things. And just saying, yeah, 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 you will do that. This is hmm, not how it works. Uh, so, you know, you go through this, you can just butcher this, you know, butcher this and just slice and dice however you want, how many times you want, right? Until you get to, um, doesn't have to be perfect, but you, unless, until you find yourself in, in, you know, like in a state where you're like, okay, cool, you know what, this is looking good, right? Uh, the order looks good, the content looks good. Um, and the client says, yeah, you know what, I think this is what we're going for. Do we want to emphasize this part or want to emphasize that part or remove exactly one thing. But at the end of the day, you take a look, you both take a look at this document and you think, okay, this is good. We can go with this. The client approves and that's pretty much your green light, your license to start writing copy. And that is pretty major because you did not have to write copy, get feedback like this and then go back. Right? So, you know, you basically writing copy now based off of this outline that the client has approved so that when the client is when the copy is finished you give it to the client there are no surprises there are no questions like say why did you put this in the first one you know or like cat why did you write about this there's no questions like that anymore because they knew what you were writing they knew what to expect and all you had to do now was deliver that right? With your research, with your copy, with your edits and everything else. Now they would look at that copy. Most of the time they would look at that copy, maybe have some minor tweaks on the language or the emphasis, but you know, they're pretty minor, which is a big deal <laughs> for us marketers. Now there will be times when the client would say, you know what, Kat, it's still not quite the direction I was looking for. When they say that, even after they approve the storyboard, you go back to the storyboard. And not so much as an accusation, like you approve this, no, nothing like that. But you can say, let's go back to the storyboard then. And, um, you know, we looked at this a couple of weeks ago. You know, we, we agreed that this was good. Um, what changed? So that I can understand what direction you were looking for then. Cool. So, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to give you a copy of the sheet that has this. And um, hopefully... You know, give it a try. Hopefully, this would be helpful for you too because it has helped me so much, helped me so much time and in a way money because of the time and the effort that I have saved just by getting this approved first. Cool? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.